today is a good day. We're going out to Lady Musgrave Island with the crew at 1770 Reef. We are so excited. We're finally gonna see some coral reefs, which we've both never ever seen before. We're on the Southern Great Barrier Reef. It's about a 90 minute boat journey from where we are at 1770. And it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining and there is no wind around, so. We are so excited. First, we need to find a park. But yeah, keen to get into it. So keen. <laughs> Lady Musgrave Island is an island formed entirely from coral. Staghorn coral is an abundant species surrounding the island. As it grows towards the sunlight, the branches underneath naturally die off, and over time, this dead coral has formed the island. Make sure I'm in. Um, what way? Yeah, yeah, I reckon. Cool, it's rolling. Welcome to Maddie's hair salon. Let's make sure it's shorter. It's just 
washed it and sham um, shampooed it and conditioned it twice. It's been a while. It has. It's nice and clean. It smells pretty good. It just smells like normal hair now, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just feel the hair and I'll just connect and I'll just <laughs> I'll just go with whatever the hair wants, okay? Okay. <laughs> wow, this is really long. Yeah. Yeah, wow, that's heat's better. Thank awesome. you. Yeah. How's it going, hairdresser? Hair cutter? Good, it's so good. This is just beautiful. This is some of my best work. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, it's just a little bit crooked. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> just depends, like, what angle you're on, really. <laughs> well, I'm getting kind of good beer, actually. Beer for you. Oh, thank you. Cheers, client. Stop. Posture. Posture's 10 out of 10. Yeah, nice wow, and short. it's short compared to compared to normal. Yeah, wow, it is short, isn't it? Last night we stayed at the 1770 Eco Camp. It's a beautiful day today. Every day has been so nice after that rain episode that we had. We've been really lucky. I think we're gonna go, probably go check the surf and see what the day will bring. I think we're gonna go catch up with some friends tonight that we met when we were at Redcliffe in New South Wales. We bumped into them again um, up here in Agda, so we're kind of crossing paths again, which is cool. Mitch is just doing some yoga. It's been a really slow morning. Every morning's slow with us. What are you doing? Just drying up the dishes. Just sort of packing up the campsite before we head out and go and do some stuff today. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking we could go for a bit of a drive around and maybe try and find a spot. There's a spot we've been looking at that we think once the swell fully dies off um, it could be right to get in for a dive and if that's no good see if we can longboard anywhere and if that's no good we'll just cruise around and do what we do every day and just enjoy it. <laughs> How good does your haircut look? <laughs> Feels good. Better now that I've had a shower too. It's less flicky. Less flicky. Less flicky. <laughs> Let's go check it. Let's go check it out. Don't really like our chances of getting in today. The wind's backed off, but there's still a little bit of swell pushing up on the shore and it doesn't look very clear. Go up on the rocks if you want. Yeah. Good thing is we've got all the time in the world so we can do whatever we want. If it doesn't look good to dive, we go for a walk or we go for a surf. Doesn't matter. Ooh. <laughs> Next stop, gonna go fill up our water because we're running low and then we're gonna go up to the lookout at 1770 and chill there for the Arvo. So this is how we fill up our water. 
So we've got a water tank, a 20 litre water tank in the back here and it's, it's gravity fed. At the moment it's, it's not gonna work because there's no water left in the tank. But the way we fill it up is pretty easy. We never have to take that out or, or touch this. We've got this extra hose. Attach it to that. Got to get the adapter for the tap. Run this hose, just tap. There it goes. It fills straight up. <laughs> Once it's full, it starts pissing out the top. So I've shoved towels in there and I'll have my hand ready on this. And I can quickly put the towels over the holes and turn it off. So once it's full, Mitchy has a drink. <laughs> There's no pump. It's just all gravity fed from the um, top of the jerry. And then once you turn it on, look at that. Heaps of pressure. Sweet, sweet nectar. We've also got one up on the roof as well that we plan was to use as a shower, but we haven't really used it for that. It's sort of just spare. We don't really keep it full all the time because we don't really need to use it that much. So we keep a couple of 10 litre jerrys in there as well, just as spares. And we pretty much just use this for dishes um, and just random stuff like that. We carry 60 litres of water, but we never really keep it full. We probably only use maybe five or 10 litres a day. Depends if there's, if there's other taps around where we are, we'll use that to fill up the dishes and the kettle and things like that. And if there's not, that's probably when we use 10 litres a day. Mm. Probably not that much. <laughs> yeah, the last time we filled up was Monday and now it's Friday, so. Yeah. happens. Looking at some shots from our dive the other day. Bark Forest Walk in Agnes Water. It's a really special little walk through all these beautiful paper bark trees. It's amazing. The Paper Bark Forest is owned by a not for profit organisation called Bush Heritage Australia, who purchase land around the country which isn't already protected through national parks. They help to manage and conserve the area to protect its native plants and animals from threats such as invasive species and fire. It's super flooded in here at the moment, just from all the rain that we had last week, so don't know how far in we're gonna be able to get. Stagnant. And fresh. It's like a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.